Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This is your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. Social media has always been on the receiving end of mixed reviews. The medium has plenty of pros and cons and has always faced criticism. But there are some situations when normal channels of communication are down and inaccessible. In the aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami that devastated Japan, Skype, Facebook and Twitter help families and friends get in touch and stay connected. With many mobile phone lines out of service or so weighed down by the sudden influx of calls, internet phone services such as Skype and Vonage help people stay in touch. And earlier this week, a host of U.S. wireless mobile phone carriers announced that they are offering free calls to Japan along with text messages. Some landline-based phone companies also followed suit by offering free calls to Japan. And moving on to other news, secure ID tokens have been hacked. EMC's security division RSA was the victim of a sophisticated data breach. Unfortunately, this means that information related to the company's secure ID tokens, which require a two-factor authentication system, have been hacked. According to a letter filed with the SEC by EMC's executive chairman, the stolen information will not result in a direct attack on consumers, but rather reduces the effectiveness of the system. Still, the exact extent of the security breach is not known and has led to plenty of speculation over the type of attack. And a new public database for consumers has finally taken off. Saferproducts.com.gov is a site for consumer products with open access to the database. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission went live with the website, but there has been hesitation from manufacturers. There are some concerns that the open forum could lead to erroneous posts about certain products. Still, the site gives consumers a way to report incidents or issues with a product in a way that is public and may hold a company more accountable. A manufacturer has 10 days to respond to the complaint and address the issue. If the CPSC reviews and decides that the complaint is legitimate, the website will post the report. And last but not least, Microsoft has said that there were over 2 million downloads of Internet Explorer 9 within the first 24 hours of its release. According to the stats from Microsoft, IE9 was downloaded faster than the beta version which came out last autumn. Other browsers such as Firefox and Opera have had more downloads on its first day of release. And interestingly enough, IE9 beat out the popular game Angry Birds in terms of the number of downloads. And that does wrap it up for a weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.